Item number SCP-3975 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures All Foundation agents embedded in the Canadian government are aware of the existence of SCP-3975 and its containment is considered a secondary or primary duty of all Foundation employees based in Canada working with government-related anomalies. Any physical instances of SCP-3975 that are not initially contained by embedded agents are to be confiscated by the nearest Foundation Mobile Task Force with amnestics distributed as appropriate. Foundation Operated Web Analysis Bot Alpha 59, Oreo Stop, is currently tasked with monitoring and removing any surviving online instances. Description SCP-3975 is an anomalous phenomenon that manifests within the territory of Canada, centered around a non-existent government department referred to as the Department of Oil Conservation. SCP-3975 takes the form of official media distributed with the insignia of the Canadian government, which manifests either physically or online after first appearing spontaneously in the workplaces of Canadian government officials. Media produced by SCP-3975 centers around a popular Oreo brand of cookies, produced by Christie in Canada and owned by Mondelez International, and attempts to mimic an official opinion from the Canadian government on the subject of Oreos. Examples of documented media include letters to businesses and individual citizens, educational videos, websites, and tweets by government departments. The contents of SCP-3975 media attempt to associate positive emotions with Oreos and or encourage actions that benefit the brand while disparaging the rivals under the auspices of government authority. In particular, the Hydrox brand of cookies is frequently attacked on SCP-3975 media and unfavorably compared to Oreos. SCP-3975 instances usually include overly patriotic language and attempts to tie the Oreo snack brand to Canadian national identity despite their American origin. While no negative consequences will result from disobeying or ignoring SCP-3975 instances, they are considered a killer class threat due to the widespread proliferation in spite of attempted foundation containment and the potential to create a broken masquerade scenario. See Incident Log SCP-3975 first manifested on Global Affairs Canada's website in 2001 as a mock notice proclaiming a temporary ban on the importation of Hydrox cookies to Canada. The notice was quickly taken down and was initially believed to be a hoax before the first physical phenomena manifested a month later. Shortly thereafter, the Foundation designated the phenomena as SCP-3975 and entered into a containment agreement with the Department of Justice. Neither Mondelez International nor their local subsidiaries expressed knowledge of SCP-3975. Before or during the manifestation, and it does not appear to have been an intentional action by the company. Partial Log of SCP-3975 Media Canada, A History of Our Land, 2003 A generic educational history textbook produced by the Government of Ontario. A chapter dealing with the early 20th century was altered to include several photographs about Orville Reed, a fictional person who is said to have invented the Oreo cookie while working as a baker in Toronto in 1912. Note, the Oreo cookie was actually first developed by the National Biscuit Company, now Nobisco, in Manhattan, New York, and introduced during that year. The 12 squares made of interconnected triangles in the Oreo design are said to represent the 11 provinces and territories of Canada at the time, with the 12 representing unity. 
a public service advertisement depicting an American and Canadian smiling while standing on opposite sides of the Canada-United States border at Derby Line from Mud Stansted, Quebec. The American is depicted holding an unopened package of high crux cookies, while the Canadian holds a package of Oreos. A caption below the two reads, Different cookies, different countries, same friendship. A letter sent to Leafy Good, the distributor of Hydrox in Canada, demanding that all packaging for Hydrox cookies sold in the country be labeled with graphic warnings that consumption of the cookies may cause cancer. To support their decree, the Department of Oil Conservation cites a study from the Sub-Department of Confectionary Competitive Regulation. An example is attached and is similar to the warnings used on cigarette packs in the country with the phrase, Hydrox will kill your taste buds, next to a picture of a graphically unhealthy human tongue. A five-minute video produced for Canada Day that depicts a montage of Canadians of various races and religious denominations all consuming Oreo cookies while staring at the camera and smiling. An accompanying voiceover states, Many things make Canada good. Our environment, our diversity, and of course our food. Over a century after Ovo Reed first made the uniquely Canadian snack, People in our country and all around the world have experienced the joy of a creamy filling surrounded by a delicious chocolate cookie. So on this Canada Day, eat Oreos for the pride of your home and native land. Incident 12, Confectionery and Aluminum Steel Tariff Agreement Most Recent Incident In March 2018, a diplomatic message was sent to the White House from Ottawa shortly after U.S. President Donald Trump authorized tariffs on imports of steel and aluminum in the United States with a temporary exemption for Canada and Mexico. The message proposes a confectionery and aluminum steel tariff agreement in which the United States would permanently ban the importation of high Hydrox cookies into Canada and acknowledge that Oreos are a national cookie of distinctly Canadian origin while the Canadian government imposes a 10% tariff on all non-Oreo cookie imports. In exchange, Canada would agree to a permanent 15% tariff on aluminum and steel export to the United States. Although the message was reported to the Foundation, an unknown government employee leaked it to the press before it could be fully suppressed. An article from the Ontario Star entitled Canadian government demands tariffs on cookies was available on their website for approximately half an hour before a DDoS attack from Alpha 59 temporarily brought the website down. Amnestics were issued to newspaper staff and persons confirmed to have viewed the article, but low-level rumors of Oreo tariffs continued to persist among the Canadian populace. Incident 4 the Oreo Party. During the 2006 Canadian federal election, numerous election pamphlets and other materials distributed by the Canadian government became infected by SCP-3975 when information on official parties was altered to include the Oreo Party, whose platform supposedly consisted of a ban on the sale of hydrox in Canada. Opposition to government-funded research into links between obesity and sugar, and free Oreos for every public school cafeteria. Also widespread in its distribution, the SCP-3975 Institute advertised the only one candidate was running for the Oreo party, the non-existent Orville Reed IV, in the riding of Pickering Scarborough East. The same writing where the phenomena claims Oreos were invented. SCP-3975 Media made the claim that neither the Liberal, Conservative, nor New Democratic parties would be running candidates in the writing. In actuality, all three did. And that Reed the Fourth was endorsed by Prime Minister Paul Mann as a necessary voice for our national snack. Media was suppressed and amnestics were issued by the Foundation, following a wide-ranging cover-up that took several weeks. Election proceeded without incident. 
Incident 9, Bonfire of the Bad Cookies. In early 2012, SCP-3975 began to manifest exponentially across Canada as a series of letters sent to Canadian citizens urging them to participate in a non-existent government-sponsored event referred to as the Bonfire of the Bad Cookies, supposedly taking place on the 6th of March. Note, the 100th anniversary of Oreo cookies first being introduced for sale in New York. The letters encouraged citizens to acquire non-Oreo brand cookies and throw them in a designated cookie fire pit at 1800 hours local time in each province. The event was said to be a movement of social protest against the encroachment of substandard dessert foods into our national diet. Canadian citizens who participated in the event were promised a voucher which could be used to purchase two standard 500 gram packages of Oreos. Despite foundation attempts to suppress the produced media and public knowledge of the event, the cities of Vancouver, Ontario, and Ottawa each had roughly a dozen citizens who were aware of the event and arrived at the designated fire location. At 1800 local time, a pile of wooden logs and cardboard spontaneously manifested in each city, as did an unidentified individual, henceforth SCP-3975-A, who wore a black shirt depicting a white maple leaf and the face of an Oreo cookie on the front while wielding a torch. The SCP-3975-A instances lit the fire, shouted, Let the confectionery cleansing begin! and immediately demanifested. Foundation Mobile Task Forces shut down each event and distributed amnestics to participants shortly afterwards. To date, this is the only occasion where a humanoid entity has appeared during an SCP-3975 incident.